Welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve for the dimension of a silo. This is under AB Products Processing and Storage. But before that, please subscribe and like this video to support my channel grow. This time, we will be solving this problem. 10 tons of shelled corn is to be stored in a cylindrical silo. Loading is from the bottom to the top of the cylindrical container, without considering the additional volume of the cone due to the effect of the angle of repose of the sample. If the silo requires a ratio of 2d equals h or twice the diameter is equal to height. What would be the dimension of the silo? Assume a 45 pounds per cubic feet bulk density for shelled corn. To begin with, we first identify our given. First, we have the weight of the sample which is the shelled corn, to be 10 tons. Next, the ratio requirement of twice the diameter is equal to height. Finally, the density of the shelled corn of 45 pounds per cubic feet. The required in the problem is the dimension of the silo, meaning, its diameter and the height. Since the silo has a shape of a cylinder, we only take into account the diameter and the height. After identifying the given and the required, we can now begin with our solution. We begin solving for the volume of the patty, or the volume of the corn patty. It can be solved by dividing the weight of the shelled corn all over the given density. We already have the values for this so we simply substitute. Giving us, weight of 10 tons to be converted in kilogram using the conversion factor of 1 ton is equal to 1000 kilogram. All over, 45 pounds per cubic feet to be converted in kilogram per cubic meter. To convert, we will use the conversion factor, 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds, and 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet in which we have to get the third power. We simply solve and we have, our converted weight of 10,000 kilograms all over, 20.45 kilogram per cubic feet times 35.29 cubic feet per cubic meter. We have, weight of 10,000 kilograms all over the density of 721.68 kilogram per cubic meter. We solve and we now have a final value for our volume of the corn patty to be 13.86 cubic meter. After identifying the volume, we can solve for the value of the dimensions, which are the diameter and the height. To solve for that, we will be equating the volume of the cylinder to the volume of the corn patty which we solved a while ago. We know that the formula to solve for the volume of a cylinder is pi, multiplied to the square of the diameter all over 2, times the height which is now equal to the volume of the patty that we solved a while ago which is 13.86 cubic meter. Now, we know that 2d is equal to h. By this, we substitute h to 2d. We need to do this to come up with the value of the diameter. We now have, pi, times diameter all over 2 square, times 2d is equal to 13.86 cubic meter. We simply solve and we have, pi multiplied to diameter square all over 4, times 2d is equal to 13.86 cubic meter. We extract pi all over 4, giving us, pi all over 4 times diameter square, multiplied to 2d is equal to 13.86 cubic meter. We multiply the equation on the left side, giving us, pi all over 2 times the cube of the diameter is equal 13.86 cubic meter. We divide both sides with pi all over 2, giving us, d is equal to the cube root of 8.82 cubic meter. We simply solve and we have a final value for our diameter to be 2.07 meters. Now, to find the value of the height, we know that the ratio requirement as stated in the problem was, height is equal to twice the diameter. With that, we simply substitute the value for the diameter that we solved a while ago which is 2.07. Giving us now the final equation for height of 2 times 2.07 meters. We simply solve and we have a final value for our height of 4.14 meters. That is both the dimensions for our cylindrical silo. It will have a diameter of 2.07 meters and its height to be 4.14 meters. 
That is now the solution for our problem. If you wish to watch more tutorials with regard to this subject, you can simply visit my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video before you exit. Thank you for your support.